Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a weekend morning cleaning routine and basically what I'm gonna be doing is walking you through all of the things that I typically clean up once my daughter Riley goes down for her first nap of the day. For those of you guys who are new here, by the way, I just wanted to say welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I know that there are a million different things that you could be doing right now, but the fact that you stumbled across this video and you're taking the time to watch it just means the world to me. I do also want to let you guys know that I'm a stay-at-home mom and my daughter is 14 months old. So if you enjoy motherhood and lifestyle content, if you like these cleaning routines, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much and it's just nice to know that you guys are enjoying these videos. Once I'm done clearing off Riley's toys from the floor, like the stuff that she played with in the morning, I move over to the kitchen and I really just start putting things away, clearing off this counter. As you can see, like you could barely even see me here with all this clutter. So I just start putting things in their place so that way eventually I can get down to like wiping the kitchen. Um, I also wanted to clear out Riley's like high chair tray because it was full of the snacks that she had earlier that morning. So I just take my Mrs. Meyers all purpose spray. Um, this is the lavender one, which I love and I just wipe everything down. But like. I said before, first I have to clear off all the clutter. After that, I'll typically start rinsing off some of the dishes that are in the sink. Um, my husband Joe and I had actually cooked breakfast that morning, so we had some of our dishes just kind of hanging out in the sink here. So I'll just rinse them off, put them in the dishwasher, and that way I can get the dishwasher going in a little bit. I did actually film this cleaning routine right after I filmed our family morning routine like for the weekend. So I will leave that link down below in case you're interested in checking it out. I think that gives you a good idea of like what we do in the weekends, like in the morning time, which leads to this kind of mess that I have to clean up. Normally my husband would take out the garbage, but I don't know where the heck he was because if he was there, I would have asked him to do this for me. Um, but I think this is a simple human garbage can and we've had it for a couple years now and I really like it. It's just super easy to like put the trash can in and to take it out. So it's not such a terrible process. Over here is our laundry room, which I like that it's so close to the kitchen and the family room, but we are gonna be like redoing it a little bit. Joe's gonna be doing some like DIY shelves here. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you guys wanna see like a DIY home project, I'll be sharing that on my channel as soon as he can get around to doing it. But I think that's gonna give us some more storage space, which our house desperately needs. Like I love my house, but one of the things it does not have is a lot of storage. All of our closets are very small. So that's a project that we've been wanting to tackle for the longest time. Once I had finished wiping down the counters, I actually lit this candle because we love candles in our house, but we still have so many like fall um, scents still sitting around in our kitchen. This is actually like a little drawer that we have with all of our candles, but you can see all of the seasonal candles. So I told Joe we had to finish off the ones that we had before we can buy any new ones. On this particular morning, there were some of Riley's clothes that desperately needed to be folded. I'm not even gonna lie, this clothes had probably sat in the dryer for like two days before I finally decided to pick it up and fold it. So since the house was quiet, since Riley was down for her nap, it was like the perfect time to just fold some laundry. Typically when I'm folding her laundry, I'll either turn on a podcast or just watch a show. As much as I don't like doing laundry because seriously doing laundry is like one of those chores that I don't look forward to. Lately, I have kind of tried to embrace it as like some good me time, some quiet time where I can, like I said, listen to a podcast or I have an app on my phone that's helping me like read the Bible. So I think it's called Bible in a year and it has like an audio version of it. So I can just like click the button get my daily scripture in and it's something that I can do when I'm folding laundry, when I'm just doing something like this where I don't have to pay too much attention. Um. 
just gonna put this out there I don't know how to fold towels okay every single time that I fold towels they are in a different way I fold them 500 different ways I am just a hot mess express um, so if you're judging me for my towel folding skills here we cannot be friends um, but whatever they just go under the sink in Riley's bathroom and I don't really think she minds So next on my to-do list was to vacuum this rug. This is where Riley spends most of her time playing with her toys and lately, baby girl has been leaving so many crumbs and just making a mess anytime that she's here. She loves to eat her puffs, but half of them end up on the floor and baby girl will eat food off the floor. So especially here by her high chair, I have to move the bar stools now and just make sure that all of the crumbs are off the floor because like I said, she just does not discriminate. Any food that's on the floor, she will eat. And that you guys was pretty much the extent of baby girl's nap. I actually heard her in the monitor that she was awake so I grabbed her clothes and headed to her room to go put these away. Can you say hi to the camera? I actually had quite a few things that I had to do in her nursery here so I just sat her on the floor hoping that she'd entertain herself for a few minutes so I could put away all of the clothes that I had just folded and just kind of pick up and tidy things up around her room. If you guys haven't seen it already, I do have a nursery organization video if you guys are curious as to how I organize Riley's things here in her room. So I will leave that video linked down below in case you guys want to see that. Funny story or not really so funny for me but the other day I was here in her nursery filming a like baby girl clothing haul for you guys which will be up on my channel soon but while I was filming that Riley was here playing in the closet and she literally emptied out every single one of those drawers that you see there with clothes yep all of them were all over the floor I was about to go put away the towels that I had folded so beautifully in her bathroom, but Joe opened up the door, so I was like, here you go, go put away these towels. Oh, and here's your daughter, by the way. Go keep her entertained so that I can finish cleaning. As much as I love this little white TV console here in her room, it does tend to be kind of like a catch-all for everything. I just randomly throw a bunch of stuff here. I have a collection of dirty diapers every day on this table. We're actually gonna be getting rid of this table and we're gonna be putting it in my office and then we're gonna be putting a dresser here in Riley's nursery because we just got a new crib and a new dresser set. Um, I've talked about it in like some of the vlogs and stuff. So this is all gonna be changing. So if you wanna see what it's gonna look like once it's all done, make sure that you hit that red button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. that's really it guys like I said this is typically what I'll do once Riley goes down for her nap especially on the weekends I love being able to like kind of tidy up the house and have things in order for the second half of our day so that once Riley's up and about like I come back to a nice clean kitchen and the family room isn't so chaotic so that we can spend more time as a family so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys